Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Hello. Good evening everyone. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, Miss. I'm good. That's... Hello. How are you doing, everyone? <laughs> Thank you for doing the homework. I was checking your homework. Good job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, today we ex our class number six. It's Tuesday, March 7th, 2023, right? And I'm going to share with you the class presentation for this evening's class. So you will see it in a moment. Can you see my screen, my presentation? Yes. Yes. I see. Great. So what is the topic for this class? The topic is expressing agreement and disagreement. Okay. And as I said, it's our class number six. The lesson objective. Um, I need a volunteer to read the less the objective, the lesson objective, please. Francisco. Okay, the lesson six object. In this class, participants will understand the use of so to nature and ater. With this word, participant may express agreement. Uh, and or disagreement. Disagreement, exactly. Thank you so much. So these are the activities, recalling previous knowledge, then the activity two, so to either and neither, and conversation time and wrap up. So let's start with the attendance. I need to take the attendance. So please say present or here. Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Present teacher. Ana, Ana Patricia García de Sánchez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Ana Patricia. Benjamín Quijada. I'm here. Okay. Brenda Adriana Méndez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Eh, Brenda Isabel Castro. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Brian Steve Rodas. Present teacher. Okay, good. Claudia Isa Lopez. I'm here, Miss. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Daniela Magali Asensio. Present. Thank you, Daniela. It's good to see you. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Okay, Edgar is listener this evening. Uh, Elisa Areli Lopez. Elisa, I'm here. I'm here. Thank you, Elisa. Eh, Elsie Patricia de Jesús Martínez. I am okay. here, teacher. Nice. Welcome. Francisco Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Griselda Lisset Moreno. Griselda Lisset. Okay, Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez. Okay, it's not here. Um, Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Janet, Janet, sorry, Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara Lopez. Okay, okay, Xiomara, I received your message. Mm, eh, okay, She's, she will be listener. Eh, Karina Yasmin Nuila. She's not here. Carla Melissa Colocho. Vamos a ver, alguien mandó un mensaje. Let's leave. Okay, and Carla Melissa. Leslie. Okay. 
Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. Eh, Margarita Abigail Tobías. Present teacher. Okay, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Miley Yamilena Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Hello, teacher. Present. Michelle. Roberto Carlos Guaya. Hello, teacher. Present. Nice, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Uh, I'm here. Present. Okay. Selma Peña. I'm here. Okay, Selma. Y Victoria Ingrid. Present. Okay. Thank you, people. The majority of you are here in the class connected on time. That's great. Excellent. Okay, so I was telling you about the, the agenda. So today you are going to learn how to use so, to, either, and neither. If you already finished section three, you have already uh, watched the video about this and also answer the exercises, but it's important always to practice in class. Okay, and to review the previous class, to review yesterday's class, I have these situations and I need you to work in small groups and you are going to read the problem and you're going to give suggestions. For example, the first problem, I need a volunteer to read num problem number one. Something else to ask him. One person to read. Who can yeah. read the first problem? Miley, please. Okay. Uh, Seria donde dice, I am visiting, ¿verdad? Exactly. Okay, I am visiting the United States. I am staying with a family while I am here. What a small, a small gift can I get for them? Okay, situation number two. Another person, please, Ana Patricia. Okay, this is really for me. Uh, sorry. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In my work, I, oh, I have, well, have my, co, my co worker always talks loudly to, to his friends during works, work hours. I can concentrate. What, what can I do? <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> and, and Elsie, the last one, please. Uh, our school wants to buy some new gene new gen equipment. So, to raise money. Okay, can you suggest some good ways to raise money? Okay. Raise money is collect, right? To collect money. Good. I'm going to send this information to the WhatsApp group. Um, and in this moment, you're gonna go into a small groups and you have to practice giving advice to different problems. If you have other problems, you can also uh, mention them, okay? So please go to the breakout room. You will receive a message, please join. And in this moment, I'm gonna send you the picture with the situations.
Pero no solo eso era. Ajá. Que lo practiquemos. Y que demos, me imagino, que demos las soluciones a estos problemas. Vale. Okay. Veamos el primero. I'm visiting the United States. I'm staying with my with a family while I am here. What small gift can I get for them? Uh, here. ¿Qué va a estar haciendo ahí? Tenemos que llevar regalos. ¿Qué clase de regalos llevarle a la familia? Uh, a ellos. Uh -huh. Ajá, llevarles. A nostal, a nostal, nostal, nostalgias gift. Like uh, tamales. Por campero, pupusas. Pupusas, ajá. Ajá. Cheese. Mm. Yeah. Um, sweet bread, semita. <laughs> hey, yo. Sí. Y, eh, my customer always tell lonely that these friends don't go home. I can consider what can I do. Bye. Yeah. Hay alguien más en el grupo que está verde. Eh, sí, es la, la teacher. Si quiere preguntarle algo. It's me, surprise. Hello, vamos a leer los problemas y a dar una solución. Exactly. Ok. Yes, um, try to use the structure that we have learned in the class. For example, if my co-workers uh, talk loudly with his friends during work hours, you can say, why don't you talk to him or to her and explain the, how you feel? Or, yeah, or maybe why don't you suggest your coworker to use headphones or earphones, right? I don't know, any idea you have? Uh, I think that uh, he feel stressed out with your coworker and he, he can use, uh, how do you say, um, los audífonos? Uh, earphones. Earphones. Can he use earphone or can leave that place? Okay. <laughs> that <word? laughs> yeah. Or you should talk to the supervisor and tell him or her that your coworker shouldn't call during work hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Other suggestions? Daniela Magali, Janet Carolina. Hello, Daniela, Janet, Margarita. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Daniela. What is your suggestion? Bueno. Eh, sería para cualquiera. Oh, here for the situation one, two, or three. For example, the number three are the ones to buy some new gym equipment. Can you suggest some good ways to raise money? Can you suggest some good ways to raise or collect money?
What are your suggestions, Magali or Janet? Bueno, chicas, espero que puedan seguir practicando. I will check, I know, I will check on the group. Bueno, dejémoslo así porque ya, ya terminamos. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, gusto. Ok. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you, you can say este. Ay, me... <laughs> I am nervous. Miss. <laughs> uh, you can say uh, please talk slowly because I am working in this moment. I don't know. I, I think it's a good idea. Okay, teacher, very we are polite, very we polite. Are, uh, coming to second problem. Not. Yeah, yeah, that's a very complicated problem. But as Miley says, you can talk in a polite way to your co-working and explain how you feel, right? Yeah, this uh, yeah, she said this. Maybe you can. It's difficult. It's difficult control concentrate. Yeah, mm. when people are speaking loudly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody. I think we are going to finish here and we're going to come back to the main room. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss. Thank you. Hello. So, how was the practice? Uh, I think it's a little bit. A little bit uh, difficult, I think. Oh, really? To give yeah. suggestions? Yeah. Okay. It's correct. Mm -hmm. What suggestions did you give for this situation number one? Uh, for the number one, I think is the, the letter A. Why doesn't she give it? Then some flower. They are always nice. Okay, and your suggestions? Uh, is that the 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 letter A? Okay, for the situation number one. Yeah, for the situation. Uh, estos son ejemplos. These are examples. Oh, ah, okay. Tienen que dar sus propias sugerencias. Ándale, ah, that's why. No well. entendimos, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sí, but... teacher, no habíamos me entendido too. la actividad. I'm Aunque mi, mi equipo me auxilió SOS, pero sí me costó entenderlo. Ah, ok, teacher. So, in this case, let me, let me read it again. I am visiting the United States and I'm staying with my family while I am here. What small gift can I get from them? Oh, uh, you can, that suggest, suggest, I don't know how to say it, suggestion. Uh huh, suggestion. Uh, you can make a, a apple pie. Maybe for a gift for them. Okay, you can make a map of five for them. Another group says that you can bring a semita or some pupusas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pero... Pupusas. You can make <laughs> some pupusas for them and you can show them the, traditional, the traditional food of our country, right? Okay, so yeah, that's right. Exactly, because it says I'm visiting the United States and oh, I'm yeah. with an American family, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we need so to what make small a... gifts can I get for them? Or why don't you, uh, why don't you bring them some uh, 
traditional candies or typical candies. Oh, yeah. Right, or some souvenirs. Right, some souvenirs. Could be. Okay, what about the second situation? That is like complicated. My coworker always talks loudly to his friends during workouts. I can't concentrate. What can I do? What is your suggestion? Um, can I answer or you're gonna? Any, any person can answer. You, if you have an idea or any other person. Oh, okay, I think uh, uh, in this case, uh we need to talk everybody you know and like a meeting and uh and i'm going to explain the situation because they yelling they yelling too much i think okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so, that could be one another idea people do you have another idea We can use the air force. Uh, you can use uh, air force. Air force, I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay. You can suggest. Why don't you suggest your partner? You can use this, this structure. Why don't you suggest your partner to use? Earphones could be earphones and speak quietly. Okay. Um, we have another situation. Our school wants to buy some new gym equipment. New gym equipment. Um, can you suggest some good ways to raise money? I think uh, you should uh, organize, organize a roundly. Okay. You should organize a raffle. Okay, another idea? They should do sales. You should sell so yes. <laughs> what? What uh, can you do? Food? Yes. Food. Food. Okay. Uh, dress. Clothes. Yes, shoes. Yes. Okay. Food or clothes or shoes. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you for your idea. Uh, maybe you were confused because it says here, then choose the best advice. I, como es en equipos, en group work, read these problems, suggest advice for each problem, then choose the best advice. Después de que cada uno ha dado sus sugerencias, iban a elegir el mejor consejo o la mejor sugerencia. Okay. So that was just a reminder of yesterday's class. Uh, people just one observation when I was checking the homework. Um, remember, the structure for sh should is the subject plus should or should not plus what? Subject should and then in base form. Base form. In base form. Uh -huh. For example, you should talk to him. Si se fijan, this after should, we don't use to. Right? It's just should and the verb. Antes del verbo no lleva, este no se usa infinitivo, sino El verbo en su forma base. You should talk to him. You should take this medicine. You should make uh, some tamales. Um, he should 
go to another place to talk, right? So you should and the verb, just that observation. Because some people were writing, you should too. You should too, but that is not correct, okay? Okay, just that. Okay. Hey, thank you. Now, in the next slide, we have some favorite foods. Did you have dinner already? Did you eat dinner before? Mm, yes, yes, teacher. Not yet. Ah, not yet, teacher. Not yet? No, not yet for me too. Oh, okay. I don't have I'm, a dinner. I'm hungry right now when I see a lot of food over here. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> oh, but that's okay, man. Well, we have a lot of food here, delicious food like apple pie, chocolate, french fries, hamburger, ice cream cone, pasta, sandwich, and sushi. Okay. And we have some uh, facts about this food. Um, I need a volunteer to read one. Volunteers are victims. Okay, Francisco, you will read about apple pie. Please. Okay, apple pie brought to North America from Europa, Europe, Europe in the oh, uh -huh. 17th century. Thank you. <clears throat> so what its origin is in America or Europe? The North, uh, North America from Europa. It comes from the or original, the original apple pie comes from Europe, okay? Europe. Yeah, it's from Europe and it came to North America in the 17th century. Okay, chocolate. Who loves chocolate? I love chocolate. <laughs> okay, Roberto, now you have to read this. Okay, uh, chocolate. Original, originally prepared as a drink by the old Mex people in Mexico over 30,000 years ago. 3,000 years Three, ago. 3,000 so, yeah. years ago. Yeah, I'm sorry. Chocolate, cacao, right? It's original, originated in Mexico. In Mexico was prepared as a drink. Okay, mm -hmm. the pronunciation. The A is not pronounced, so you say chocolate. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's the O. The second O is not pronounced. Oh, so you chocolate. say chocolate. 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 Ah, okay. chocolate. Uh, it's uh, not chocolate. 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 Uh -huh. chocolate. Oh, okay. Jocelyn? French fries. Entonces la pronunciación es así como lo acaba de mencionar, a pesar de que como se escribe igual en español, ¿verdad? Ahí dice chocolate. Entonces es igual como usted lo está diciendo. Yeah, it's the same spelling as in Spanish, but the pronunciation is different. Chocolate. 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 Okay, you don't pronounce the second O. Okay, Jocelyn, would you mind reading French fries? Pronunciar. Uh, to read. Yes. Please. Uh, French fries. French fries. French French. 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 French made in vacuum. Belgium. Belgium. I said, um, I know, so this is me, this is intelligent. <laughs> okay, in this, case, in this case, this is a good, a good way to read. You mentioned first 1680. 1680. Oh, uh -huh. so it's it's in those. Yeah, 1680. That's an yeah. easy way. Because if not, you will have to say 1680. But easy form, an easiest form is around uh, 1680. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, so they are origi originated in Belgium. Teacher. Hamburger. Roberta? See, I have a question. Uh, Belgian 
Virginia is a country or? It's a country, Belgium. Um, Belgium. Uh, okay, so why the name is French fries? Um, yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that's weird, you know? Right. Exactly. ¿Cuál es el gentilicio de, Bel de Bélgica? Um, um, eh, el belgo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit uh, weird. Nationality. Mm -hmm. Belgian. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Belgian, yes. Okay, hamburger. Roberto Carlos, would you like to read the hamburger? Okay, let me teach her my problem. Hamburger, create our own um, nighting, zero, zero. Okay, in this case, you can say okay. like thin one, oh, oh, one, one thousand uh, nine, nine, Hundred. Yes. In the in the US or United States as quick and inexpensive meal. Exactly. Thank you. So quick and inexpensive meal. Mm -hmm. Fast food, right? Good. Uh let's see ice cream cone. Pardon me? Okay. Please. I don't know, no understand your question, sister. I'm sorry. Uh, just read, please, here. I ah, the next. Es que alguien dijo, yo pregunté quién leía y alguien me dijo me. Oh, sorry. Pero no sé quién fue. Oh, thank you, Francisco, for sharing why we have the French fries now. Okay, uh, a ver, ¿quién lee a Spring Con? Mm, yo, teacher. Okay, please. Create of the 90... Um, created at the 1904. Created in the 1904. Was the fire in the use by a Syrian chef Ernest, um, no sé cómo se dice, and we, and what? <laughs> no <sé>. yes, and we. <laughs> yes, it's a Syrian chef. The ice cream cone was created in a world's fair in the United States. Interesting, I didn't know that. But it's very, very interesting. Yeah, I really love the ice cream cone. That's something I love when I eat ice cream, eating the cone. It's delicious. Yes, it's crunchy. Okay, pasta. Elisa Adeli, would you like to read about pasta? First, writing about in a great recite from the first century CE. Okay, yeah. So it, was, it is first written in the Greek, Greek recipe, right? In the first century. In the common era it's like in the time of christ when jesus was in earth pasta was first written in a greek recipe interesting okay sandwich ana marisol zamora name for the english early of sandwich in the um no, 1760. 1760. Exactly. Interesting. Thank you. And sushi. Claudia Isel. Okay, sushi. A modern style sushi first made in Japan in the 1820s. Okay, 1820s, 1820s. 
Modern okay. style sushi first made in Japan. <laughs> Very nice. Which is your favorite food of this one? My favorite food is a uh, hamburger. Oh yes, I love hamburgers too, with French fries. I have yes. hungry. I want old now. You are hungry. <laughs> what about sushi, guys? Do you like sushi? No. Yes. Yes, yes. I, love oh, I like oh, sushi. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, delicious. Oh, we I have like a lot it. of reactions. Some people don't like it. Other people love it. Well, let me tell you my experience. The first time I tried sushi, I didn't like it. I couldn't eat it. I asked for a hamburger. <laughs> but then we went to another restaurant and I tried sushi in another restaurant. And it was better. And now I like it. Mm. Now I like sushi, but the first time I tried sushi, I didn't like it. So I don't know, maybe um, I don't know, maybe it was the 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 way it was prepared. Do you like pasta? Yes, I like. Yes, I like pasta. Yeah, the most people like pasta. What I about, prefer Chinese food. You prefer Chinese food, okay, Victoria. And um, okay, who doesn't like chocolate? I had a friend who didn't like chocolate. So is there someone in the class who doesn't like chocolate? Somebody who doesn't like it? Nobody? Brian, do you like chocolate? No like chocolate. Yes. Adam, like Anna doesn't pasta. like chocolate. <laughs> okay. It's uh, muy dulce and <laughs> sugar. Too sweet. Too sweet. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. <laughs> Thank you for your opinion. Okay, let's look at this conversation between Simon and Christine. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? <clears throat> sure, I'm tied up shopping. So am I. What do you think of Thai food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. What about Japanese food? Mm, fine by me. I love Japanese food. So do I. There is a great restaurant on the first floor. It's called Kyoto Garden. Perfect. Let's go try it. Nice. So as you notice in this conversation, <coughs> what are they talking about? <coughs> what are they talking about? Um, uh, they talking about the uh, they don't they need a uh, how do you say uh they need to go or, or I don't know how to explain but about things to eat I I think they they have to this how do you say the city decide okay, decide so they need to decide uh, which restaurant they need to go for example. Oh. For example, uh, Simon wants to go to the Thai food and oh, Japanese food. And another one, no, but Simon, uh, he wants to go to Japanese too. Uh, okay. To, he wants to go They're to talking the talking about to Japanese getting food. something to eat. Yeah, they want to get something to eat. <laughs> okay. So if you notice, when she says, I'm tired, I'm tired of shopping. He says, so am I. Am I, am I, am I. So am I. It means yo también. Ay, estoy cansada de comprar. So am I. Yo también. 
okay? And if you notice the structure is the, the, the expression, so the verb and the subject. Okay, now when she says in the other sentence, I'm not really, I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either. This is negative. And he says, um, no, 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 como no tengo muchas ganas. No soy como para comer eso hoy. Y le dice, yeah, I'm not either. Yo tampoco. I'm not either. Yo tampoco. And then it says, fun by me. I love Japanese food. And he says, she says, so do I. Ok, ¿por qué en esta no dice am I, sino do I? Estoy usando so también, so am I, so do I. Why the change? ¿Por qué cambia? Because of the tense they're using. Ah, ok. Ok, si yo estoy usando el presente con el verbo to be, voy a usar el verbo to be en la respuesta. En este caso... Lo uso, ¿verdad? I am tired. So am I. Ahora, en este caso dice, I love Japanese food. It's the simple present. Entonces, con el simple present, siempre usamos el auxiliar do. Entonces digo, so do I. Ahora, si por ejemplo yo digo, I can't speak Spanish. I can speak Spanish. Y usted quiere decir, yo también, pero usando el so, ¿cómo lo diría? So can I. So can I. Exactly. So can I. Um, déjeme pensar. En el pasado, por ejemplo, si yo digo, I went to the beach last weekend. ¿Cómo puede decir? Yo también, pero... En pasado. So did I. So did I. Entonces vamos a usar el auxiliar que uso. El auxiliar dependiendo el tense. La present, present simple, present progressive, or past, or future. Ok, vamos a ver más ejemplos en la siguiente diapositiva. Ese es en el caso de so. ¿Qué se usa para decir que está de acuerdo? Como decir yo también. Para disagreement o disagree, usamos eh, neither and either, que es decir tampoco, yo tampoco. ¿Ok? Agree, we use so and to. For example, eh, tenemos aquí I'm crazy about Italian food I'm crazy about Italian food I love Italian food so much entonces como está usando el verbo to be, I'm crazy digo so am I or I am too son las dos maneras en cómo puedo decir yo también so am I I am too pero si yo quiero decir yo no Oh, I'm not. Ahora la siguiente. I can eat really spicy food. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. ¿Por qué? Estoy usando can. Entonces, so can I. Or, I can too. Yo también. Yo también puedo. Para decir que yo no, puedo decir really, I can. Solo lo uso en negativo. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. Or I do too. Disagreement. Oh, I don't. Or I don't like it very much. Okay. Another one. I'm not in the mood for India, Indian food. Neither am I. Entonces para decir yo tampoco... 
¿Por qué digo tampoco? Porque estoy, estoy en negativo, ¿verdad? No estoy eh, de humor o con ganas de comer comida india. Entonces, para decir yo tampoco, neither am I, or I'm not either. Pero si usted sí tiene ganas de comer Indian food, diría, really, I am. Solo lo hacemos en afirmativo. Ok, another example. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. Or I can't either. I don't like it. But if you like it, you say, oh, I love it. I don't like salty food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. Entonces, no sé si tenemos, si comprendemos este punto, la diferencia de para decir yo también o yo tampoco. Bien. Neither is positive, either negative. Neither and either es tampoco. So and to es también. So and to significan también y lo usamos cuando yo, cuando la otra persona dice algo afirmativo. Entonces yo digo yo también. So y luego el verbo y el sujeto. So do I, perdón, teacher. Exactly. Es para eh. decir yo también. Para decir yo también. Yes. Ok. Teacher. Ahora, cuando alguien dice, por ejemplo, no me gusta la leche, I don't like milk. Entonces, como es negativo, no me gusta la leche, es negativo. Entonces, uso neither or either. I don't like milk. Neither do I. Or I don't either. Tampoco yo. Francisco. Hey, teacher, uh, I think the answer is... Um... Es, es tan diferente el lugar uh, en el last one. I know the, um, I know in the mood for Indian food. Agri, this really, is really I am. No sería en esta parte acá la respuesta. Ah, ok. Y en esta parte. Y en disagri, ni I am, o I know either. No, pero como en este es negativo, ¿verdad? Y usted también está de acuerdo, aunque es algo um, negativo. Oh, 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 ok. Ajá, porque dice, no estoy en, de ganas de comida china, por ejemplo. Yo tampoco. Entonces está de acuerdo con la persona. Pero, mm. si, usted no, pero si usted sí tiene ganas, está de desacuerdo y dice, really, I am. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. I'm teacher, I have a question. Yes, Roberto. Uh, teacher, uh, yo he escuchado que a veces dicen, por ejemplo, o por ejemplo, eh, dicen, I don't like milk. Uh, he escuchado que personas dicen, me either. No sé ¿Sí? si es correcto. O he escuchado que dicen, por ejemplo, I, I like to play uh, football soccer. Entonces, escucho que dicen, me too. Entonces, no sé si es correcto el, el me too o, o el me either. Me either. Es no sé correcto. Si lo puedo usar también. También lo puede usar. Ah, sí ok. No es informal. Oh. Es, sí, es informal, pero se usa. Se puede usar, ¿verdad? O sea, Ajá. digamos, ya cuando empieza a hablar y en, cuando es en negativo, puedo decir me either. ¿no? Y cuando es en positivo, puedo decir me too. Exacto. Ah, ok. Ok. Sí, Quería se puede. Hacer Sí, Quería puede. salir de esa duda, pues porque ya a la hora de hablar, no, no meter ahí las, las patas, como dicen. <ríe> yeah, you can, but I have to teach you this structure. Oh, ok. <ríe> Pero yeah. les tengo que enseñar eso. Vaya, vamos a ver. Okay. ok. Entonces, aquí, bueno, vámonos a los ejercicios de una sola vez. Well, we have some vocabulary here, bland, delicious. Greasy, healthy, rich, salty, spicy. Ok. Le había puesto este vocabulario aquí. For food, healthy food, greasy food, delicious food, 
rich food, salty food, or spicy food. But we have to write some responses here to show agreement with this statement. For example, I'm not crazy about Italian food. Vamos a ver, ¿qué dirían ustedes? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta para decir yo tampoco? I'm not crazy about Italian food. Tenemos que show, we have to show agreement. I know either. either. Exactly. I'm either. not either. Either. Okay, no. I'm not either or neither. Either. Hey, uh, neither am I. Le leí los labios a Michelle. Neither am I. Exactly. Esas son las dos maneras en cómo podría responder. I'm not crazy about Italian food. I'm not either. Neither am I. Or me neither, como dijo Roel. Pero quiero enseñarles la, esta otra manera. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ay, Cherito, esas son negativas. Sí, pero usted está, está de acuerdo con la persona. Uh -huh. Ok. Teacher, in, y either y neither vienen siendo auxiliares, ¿verdad? Pero pensé que uno era positivo y el otro era negativo. Ok, es que la, es esto, ese es el asunto. Sí, neither and either se usa cuando la oración es negativa. Ajá, aunque está de acuerdo uh -huh. con la persona, pero okay. es, la oración es negativa. Porque Ajá. significa tampoco. Mm, ok. Y cuando decimos tampoco es porque yo, yo no va. Mm -hmm. Queremos decir. In the, platform, in the platform say either negative, neither positive. I don't know. Sería de ver el ejercicio. Ok. Es que creo que lo que nos causa confusión es eso que si es agreement or disagreement. <laughs> Vaya, pero aquí la respuesta nos está pidiendo write responses to show agreement. Entonces, para dar la respuesta aquí, porque yo puedo decir I am I'm not crazy about Italian food but I am pero yo sí, but I am entonces, pero como aquí nos está diciendo que la respuesta tiene que ser de acuerdo con lo que me está diciendo la otra persona. Entonces, en este number two, I can eat any kind of food. What is the answer? So can I. Exactly. So, so can I or I can too. Exactly. I think Indian food is delicious. Otra vez. So, yeah, I. Can. So do I. So do I or I. I do. I do too. Exactly. I can't stand greasy food. I can't stand greasy food. Es como no soporto la comida grasosa. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I can either. 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 Exactly. I explain. I can either or neither. I can. Neither can I. Oh. Neither can I. Okay. I don't like salty food. I. Neither do I. I don't either. So am I. I, I neither I. do I or I don't. I don't either. I'm in the mood for something spicy. I am not either. Oh, I, I am. Neither do I. I. 
Pero mire, no, no es tan negativo, no es tan afirmativo. So am I, so am I. So am I, or I am too. I am too. I'm tired of fast food. So am I, I so am I, or so am I, so am I, so am I, or I am too. I don't want pizza, I don't want hamburgers, I don't want pupusas. <laughs> okay, uh, number eight. I don't enjoy rich food very much. Neither, neither do I. I, do I. I either. Neither do I. I or I don't, don't eat it. I don't eat it. Either. Very nice. I always eat healthy food. So do I. I. So do I, or I do I do, do. I do too. too. Or me too. <laughs> okay, I can eat bland food. I can, I can either. Neither can I. Neither can I. Neither or neither, neither, neither can, can, I. can I. Can I. Can I. Okay, very nice. Those are the, the correct answers. <laughs> okay, it could be a little bit confusing sometimes. Okay, guys, uh, we only have two minutes to finish the class. So I'm going to send you some links for uh, some exercises that I have for you. Um, these are the the exercises I, I will send you to do the, the online, okay? That will be the homework. And on Thursday, we are going to continue with this activity, okay? So by now, uh, please continue working in the platform, advance as much as you can. And yeah, maybe you can advance with this too, but we're gonna do it in the next class. But I will, um, ask you to please practice with these exercises, okay? You can do the exercises online. You can take a picture when you finish. Let me, let me see if I can show you how to do it. Give me a moment. <clears throat> okay, you go click on the link. When you finish doing the exercise, for example, for example, in this one, like worship. Lo van a hacer así. Okay, you enter the link, you will get this exercise. Okay, in this it says you have to use so, to, either, and neither, but don't use me to or me neither. For example, I am tired. It would be, so am I, right? Or, well, but only one answer. Okay, I'm not hungry. You can say I'm not either. <laughs> Or, neither am I, okay? So you write all the responses and when you finish, you, get, you click on terminado or finish and pay attention. You go here, you click on check my answers. No le vayan a dar en enviar respuestas a mi profesor porque entonces les va a pedir curso, asignatura, código, etcétera, etcétera. We don't have it. No, eso no. Solo van a ir aquí, vea, comprobar mis respuestas. Y ahí le va a salir si está correcta. Miren, me salieron buenas. Entonces, <ríe> ahí le va a dar la nota. Cuando ya lo haya hecho, le puede tomar captura. Le toma captura y lo manda al grupo. ¿Ok? Okay. Esa es la tarea. Okay, okay. Okay. Y, y, el, 
El link lo va a mandar usted. Al eh, grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Ya le voy a mandar al grupo de WhatsApp. Van a hacer dos ejercicios que tienen que hacer. Ok. Two exercises. Ok. Ok, guys. Remember, we don't have class tomorrow. Tomorrow is your day up. You can go to the movies. You can go to a party, etc., etc. But, <laughs> okay. but remember to do your homework. Ok. okay. Have a good night. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, Martin, you're funny. <laughs>